So question one then, the first question in paper two of the 2021 20, higher maths that wasn't, because this is just a, a resource paper. And I must say, looking at the questions now, it does seem just like a resource of questions rather than proper exam questions, because they're all fairly straightforward. This first one, that's a really straightforward question. Standard, what's the equation of a tangent to a curve? A curve's got this equation. What's the tangent to that curve for the point where x is 3 for 4 marks? Well, tangent, that's a straight line. The equation of a straight line needs a point on it. I'll get that from this equation. And its gradient, I'll get that from the derivative. I might as well put that down then. I'll get the gradient from the derived equation, the derivative. So go through the process, multiply by the power, take one off the power, multiply by the power 16, take one off the power, there's no x term, and a constant doesn't change, so that's gone. So there's my second equation I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one to get the coordinate and this one to get the gradient, thereby getting the equation of the line. Having differentiated, you get the first mark. Right, now find the two things. So you don't need to put down these statements. I just like to do it. So I'm going to substitute x equals 3 in equation 1 because that will give me the y coordinate. So that will be putting the 3 in place of x. 2 times 3 cubed minus 8 times 3 squared plus a 14. So that's going to be 27.54. That's 9.72 plus the 14. Well, that comes there to a 68. So 68 means I'm 4 short, minus 4. So just getting the y-coordinate was a mark. But that means now that I've got the point. So the point was the point 3, negative 4. All right, now I'm going to substitute x equals 3 in equation 2, thereby getting the gradient. So that'll be 6 times the 3 squared minus 16 times the 3. So 6 nines, that's 54, and that's 48, so that gives me 6, so now the gradient is 6, getting the gradient of 6 is worth a mark. Now the tangent. Well that's a line, y minus b equals mx minus a, I'll put them down anyway where I'm using m equals 6 and 3, negative 4 for the a and the b. I don't need to put that down, but I have done now. So y minus the y-coordinate, y minus the negative 4, is the gradient 6 times x minus the x-coordinate. So that's going to be 6x minus 18. If I'm doing that, I might as well just put the 4 over here. I was going to move it, but I'll have to join it on afterwards. Which means that y is going to be 6x minus minus 22, or any variation of that. I just think that, that's the best one. If you've just got a single y and there's no fraction here, that's a very nice form of the equation because you can visualize that really easily. It cuts the y-axis at negative 22 with a gradient of six.